Welcome to ProLite, the biggest hand-built wheel company in the world. Today, we will be showing you the production of one of our carbon wheels. From preparing the carbon sheets, all the way through to layup, forming, lacing, and ending up in a box ready to ship to you. First, the carbon is cut precisely into the required segments. The rim starts with 3K weave to reinforce the area of the spoke holes. Several layers help to reinforce the rim area. Each layer is calculated to provide performance and strength. Heat is applied to soften the resin and the shape is gently molded. The tire bed foundation is built according to whether it is a tubular or a clincher model. The next layer is applied and smoothed out. External layers are added, building up the sidewalls and the face of the rim. Prior to forming, the completed layer is wrapped to let layers mold into position to prevent slippage during the forming stage. When the mold is ready, the air nozzle is attached, then the rim is unwrapped before being placed gently into the mold. The mold is first heated to allow the resin of the layers to flow and mix. Pressure is increased in two stages to prevent movement, while eliminating as much resin as possible. Prolite uses thick wall silicon air bladders, rather than cheap poly bags as used by many manufacturers. This allows us to mold at double the normal pressure. By using much higher pressures, this means the finished product is not only lighter, but also far stronger than rims that are cheaper to produce. The excess resin is removed and the rim surface is prepared for decals and finishing. First of all, the rims are cleaned, degreased and inspected in a clean environment. The decals are then applied by hand at a nearby station according to the artwork. The rims are moved to an oven to dry at low temperatures. The protective layer is removed, revealing the pristine decal below, and the decal quality is carefully checked. A very light clear coat is applied, and the rim is moved again to the oven for a final cure and set. The rim is carefully packaged and sent to the wheel building assembly line. So now the rim is at the wheel building facility and it's time to build it up. Spoke tension meters are calibrated twice daily independently by a QC engineer and every time the builders change to a different type of wheel to build. Most of our skilled workers have been building wheels for more than 10 years. It takes a minimum of six months to train a wheel builder and constant ongoing on the job training continues all year round. Nipples are stored in heavy oil to ensure thorough lubrication for the spoke and nipple to seat cleanly. We make our own fitting tool that allows the spoke to be tightened in three stages. Only tightening enough to get the wheel ready for the final tensioning stage. As the wheel comes into full tension, roundness, trueness and dish are all checked and rechecked. Rubber rollers press against the spokes, forcing the nipples to bed in. Spokes are seated by a hydraulic press, and the process begins again. This process is repeated a minimum of six times for every wheel before it is ready to be checked by an independent QC engineer. Because we bed the wheels in during the building process, ProLite wheels don't need to be retrued after the first ride. 
Every wheel that is built has a serial number entered into the database that records the tension of every spoke as well as the roundness and trueness of the wheel. Wheels that do not pass this test go back to the truing station for another six cycles of truing and bedding in. From the greenlit wheels, we randomly select samples to be tested on the machine we call the Beast. This testing machine features multiple types of road conditions with alternating size bumps, a direct load of 90 kilograms measured at the rear axle, and angled lateral loads of over 150 kilograms. The machine can run a constant load test for 10,000 kilometers in one week to contest durability. A more moderate testing regime is used for production wheels. Due to our incredibly high QC standards, 90% of all wheels will fail the first QC test. After the test run, the wheel goes back to the electronic testing machine and the results are compared to ensure that the wheel is still true. In addition to our brutal testing machine, we have separate tests for braking surfaces. After testing with many different formulations, starting in 2016, the compound we use for ProLite brake pads is made specifically by the world-famous Swiss stock company. These provide the best combination of braking performance and heat management, which is a critical issue for carbon rims. There are two types of tests. The first involves bringing the wheel to speed, then locking the brakes to replicate a sudden stop. This test is repeated for hours with hundreds of repetitions. For our testing, we increase the speed to double or triple real-life situations and inspect the condition of the braking surface over and over again. The second type is a long-duration test with a weight on the brake to ensure constant pressure, regardless of the wear of the pad. As with the earlier test, we increased the speed beyond the recommended levels, so we pushed a wheel to the higher temperatures and induced failure. Of course, outside of the lab, we do extensive road testing as well. From the grueling climbs and winding descents of Taiwan mountains, to the rolling hills of the English countryside. Focused on braking, longevity, or pure performance. So we've been through the process of building the rim itself, all the way to lacing and tensioning. Here, we have our finished wheel with quick releases, brake pads as well, if it's a carbon rim, the 11-speed spacer, and replacement spokes. Also, some of our selected wheels come with wheel bags to protect your wheels when traveling or racing. So, this one's ready to go out the door, ready for you. Hope you enjoy your wheels. <laughs>